Hello, welcome to this short video on counting losers when you're declarer. In no Trump contracts, we usually count our winners. And if we're short of winners, we work out where to establish extra tricks. But in suit contracts, we also need to look at our losing cards. Take a look at this hand. We're the dealer in South with 12 high card points. We've got a six card spade suit. So I'm going to open that one spade. My partner has 10 high card points and four, uh, four in the major in spades. So partner's bid's going to be a three spade here. And we've got a six card suit and we've got two doubletons. So I think we're going to uh, push that to four spades. So we're in a contract of four spades. All right, so we have the uh, King of Diamonds lead from West. So we've got to make 10 tricks. So let's count our winners first. In the spade suit, we have uh, four winners once the ace and the king have gone. In hearts, we have three winners, that's seven. In clubs, we have two winners once the ace is gone, that's nine. And in diamonds, we're going to win the ace. So that's 10 tricks. That looks great, doesn't it? We, we need to make 10 tricks and we've got 10 winners. But hang on, let's check our losers. That's those cards that are going to lose a trick either straight away or later on in the play. Firstly, we're going to decide which is what we call the master hand. And the master hand is the hand that has the longest trump suit. So here we've got four trumps in north and we've got six trumps in south. So south is going to be the master hand. This is the hand we're going to focus on. Now looking at uh, each suit in turn, let's do the spades first. <clears throat> we can see that even in combination with dummies jack and 10, we are going to lose the ace and the king of spades. So we have two losers in spades. There's nothing we can do about that. In the hearts, we've got the king, which is a winner. We've got the eight, which looks like a loser, but in the dummy, we've got the ace and the queen. So we can actually cover that eight of hearts. So it won't be a loser. So no losers in hearts. Again, in clubs, we've got queen jack. We've got the king in dummy, but we're still going to lose one trick to the ace of clubs. So that's three tricks, three losers. And then in diamonds, okay, we've got the ace in our hand, but we've also got the five and we've got nothing to make up for that in the dummy. So in diamonds, we have one loser, which is the low diamond there. So that makes four losers. So although we can count 10 winners, we have four losers. And if the defense take those um, early on, then we're not going to make our 10 tricks. So that's how we count our losers, how we get rid of them. There are several ways that we can get rid of losers. We can dump our losers um, on winning cards in the dummy. We can play losers on losers. We may be able to finesse. We're just going to have a look at this one hand. Now, we can't do anything about the two spades. We can't stop the defence taking two spade tricks and we can't stop them taking one club trick. But can we get rid of that low diamond uh, in our hand? Well, let's think. Yes, it can win with the ace and we can discard the five of diamonds on one of our hearts because we've got more hearts in the dummy than we have in South. So that's the way that we can think about making this contract. But what about drawing trumps? Do we need to draw trumps first? Because that's often the advice. Well, when you're trying to get rid of losers, it's quite often the case that you need to stay in control while you're setting up your tricks. 
because once your opponents get in, they can actually take over and win their four tricks. See how that works in the play out. So we go to win this first trick uh, with the ace. And now we want to create a shortage in our hand. So I'm going to play the king up to the uh, up to the three hearts in dummy. I play the second heart up to dummy. And now on the third heart, fingers crossed that I don't get trumped, I can now discard my loser, my losing diamond on that winning heart. Now it's safe to draw trumps. So we're in the north hand and we know, of course, that we're going to lose two trump tricks. That's two of our expected losers. OK, and we also know that we're going to lose a club trick and there it goes. Right. We can trump that with the four. Carry on with the trumps. That's our second trump uh, trick gone to our opponents. And now we have a clear ride home. And the remaining three tricks are trumps. Playing these out, by the way, because it's soft and quicker than trying to claim or, on this program. It's quite nice to see all those, that long trump suit actually bringing home the contract. We made the contract and won the game for a score of 420 points. The thing to note here is that if you do have to eliminate some of your losers, no matter what the, uh, the method you're going to use to do that, is that quite often it's going to pay us to hold back on, our, on drawing our trumps. Now, if we've got some top trumps and we've got long enough trumps to actually pull that off, then it's fine to draw trumps. And that means there'll be no risk um, of our opponents trumping in uh, when we're trying to dispose of our losers. Um, but in this case, as we don't have the two top trumps, it was important to discard that losing diamond um, before we started to draw trumps. Well, the main takeaway is that when you're playing in a suit contract, it's really important to count your losers as well as your winners before you decide how you're going to play the hand. So the big decision when you have too many losers is whether to draw trumps or not. So that depends on whether you've got top trumps and the length in trumps. But the important thing is to stay in control while you're getting rid of your losers so that the defense don't come in uh, and take those tricks first. Okay, well, I hope that's been helpful. Goodbye for now.